just enough items. If you want to see everything and how to build it in Minecraft, whether you've got Minecraft mods installed and you want to see everything in those mods and vanilla Minecraft, or if you just want to see how to quickly build stuff in vanilla Minecraft, just enough items is probably the way to do it. It is the best mod for figuring out crafting recipes in game. And, and probably the most important part of it all is it hooks right into most mods, probably 99% of mods to get their blocks, get their items right in game along with their crafting recipes. So truthfully, it is a must have if you're adding more than three or four mods to Minecraft. So let's go ahead and get it, just enough items. The first thing you wanna do is the second link in the description down below. Go down there and click that. That's gonna take you here. This is our in-depth text tutorial for getting just enough items. If you wanna go through things at your own pace, that's why that's here. However, once you're here, click on the yellow download just enough items button to be taken to the just enough items official download page. Then come over here to the right-hand side and scroll down to the Minecraft 1.19 version. Under that, you'll see JEI 119 Forge. That's the version we want is just enough items for 119, Forge. Go ahead and click the orange download button to the right of that, and the download will begin after a few seconds. While we're waiting, though, how do I our sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft Hosting? Go to the first link down below the breakdown at xyz slash Apex to start your very own 24-hour DDoS protected Minecraft server. At Apex, you'll easily be able to add mods to your server, be able to start a mod pack server, be able to add plugins to your server, and if you have any issues, you have 24 hours, seven day a week support at Apex. They have high quality hardware, and truthfully, they are the best Minecraft server host out there. So go check them out at the first link down below the breakdown at xyz slash Apex to start your very own Minecraft server. We actually host all of our servers on Apex Minecraft Hosting. That's the first link down below the breakdown to XYZ slash Apex. Nevertheless, just enough items is downloaded. You may need to keep or save the file depending on your browser. So go ahead and do that. Keep it, save it if you need to. It's 100% safe to do that. Now there's one more thing we need to download and that is Forge. Forge is the mod loader that basically allows just enough items to actually work with Minecraft. So you can find Forge linked in the description down below. It's the third link down below and that's going to take you here. Again, our in-depth text guide if you need to go through this at your own pace, but we're going to be going over the basics of getting Forge here. So just go ahead and click on the green download Forge button here. And when you click on that, it's going to take you to Forge's official website. Now be aware of this. It says 1.18.2 here. That's not the version we want. We want 119. So select that on the left-hand side by clicking 119 and then 119 again. Then finally, you see MC 119 here and we can come under download latest and click installer to be taken off to add focus. We're stopped. Don't click anything on this page whatsoever. Do not click a single button on this page. The only thing you want to click is the red skip button that appears in the top right after about 10 seconds. As you can see, there's that red skip button. Click on that and then Forge will begin downloading in the bottom left or the center of your screen on Mozilla Firefox. This is 100% safe to keep or save this file as long as Forge is in the title, which as you can see for us it is. Finally, we can minimize our browser here and we want to go ahead and move these files to our desktop just for ease of use. Do that, click the little Windows icon on the top left of my screen, probably the bottom of your screen or bottom center of your screen on Windows 11. Type in downloads, you have this downloads file folder here and in here you will find Forge and just enough items. Drag and drop these to your desktop just for ease of use. Once these are on your desktop, we're going to be starting off with Forge. Go ahead and right click on it, click on open with, click Java and click OK. But now I don't have Java or my icons look weird. Well, either way, you need to go ahead and get Java 17. If you can't open up Forge, you need Java 17, which is linked in the description down below. This is a simple three-step guide that will allow you to get Java 17 up and running for Minecraft mods like Just Enough Items. You may also need to run the jar fix. This is gonna fix those jar files looking incorrect and not working with Java. It's gonna take all the jar files, link them to Java so they'll work happily together. Again, a simple three-step process. Finally, we can minimize our browser and we wanna go ahead and right-click on Forge, click Open With, click Java, and click OK. This is gonna open up the Mod System Installer where you wanna click on Install Client and click OK. This is gonna download, install, basically get everything set up for Forge to work in Minecraft 1.19. The only reason this wouldn't work at this point is if Minecraft 1.19 is open or you've never played Minecraft 1.19 before. If either of those are the case, just go play Minecraft 1.19 and then close out of Minecraft and the Minecraft launcher and reinstall Forge, kind of just starting back at the beginning of the chapter of the video. Nevertheless, here we go. Successfully install Clamp Profile Forge. Click OK, and now that will close out of it. You can delete Forge from your desktop. We don't need that anymore. Let's go ahead and get just enough items installed. To do that, you want to open up the Minecraft Launcher right like so, and I'm going to do this kind of the fast way. There's two different ways to do this, and I'm going to do this a little different in this video, because why not? I think it's important to kind of spread both ways to do this. So once you're here, you want to make sure you have a Forge installation, right? So as you can see in the uh, bottom left here, we have one. Forge, it says 119 Forge under it. If that's you, awesome. If that's not you, go ahead and click on installations up here. Now, if suddenly this appears, great. If it doesn't, click on modded. As you can see, modded's unchecked here. Go ahead and click on it, and there is Forge. If you still don't have Forge here, you want to create your Forge installation. Do that by clicking new installation here. Name it whatever you want. I'm going to name it 
our Forge installation, right like so, installation. And then we want to go ahead and take this and click the version dropdown box. This is the most important thing. Click this version dropdown box. And then you want to select release 1.19-Forge. When you click on that, it's going to select the Forge 119 version. I'm going to change my resolution. You don't have to do that. I'm just doing that so you can see once we get in game. Finally, click create in the bottom right. Now, there's two ways to do this. At this point, you could open up Minecraft. How do you do that? Well, you want to hover over the Forge installation, either the one you created or the one that's there automatically. Then click on this folder. That will open up your .minecraft folder. Now in here, you should have a mods folder, but if you don't, go ahead and right click, create a new folder, and title this folder mods, M-O-D-S, all lowercase, exactly like that. Open up your mods folder, and now drag and drop just enough items into the mods folder. That's how you can install just enough items. We'll call that method one. Method two would be opening up Forge, which we need to do anyway. So let's go ahead, hover over Forge here, click play, and click play again. So click play, and click play again. Now Minecraft's going to open up. Just enough items to install, but let's say you didn't want to install it the way I just did. What's the other way? That would have you from the Minecraft main menu, clicking mods, and then clicking open mods folder in the bottom left. Then you would just drag and drop just enough items into this mods folder. As you can see, it's already there because we did it the other way. Either way works, except with this way, you would then need to restart Minecraft to activate just enough items. It's the only difference. So nevertheless, there you go. There's just enough items installed in Minecraft 1.19. We can obviously jump into Minecraft 1.19, our single player world here, and show off this amazing mod. Truthfully, just enough items is a mod that everyone, 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 and I can't stress that enough, everyone should install in Minecraft. Uh, we were... Uh, Having some world edit fun, if you can't tell. We replaced all the tree trunks with gold. But if we hit E, there it is. There is just enough items in game. We can go through all the different items. We want to see everything involving netherite. Or netherite, there it is. We can see netherite sword. We can see shovel. How do we get netherite? You can make it in the... Or how do we get the shovel? You can make it in the anvil. You can make it in the smithing table. You can do all of this different stuff. It's absolutely incredible. I love it. I love, 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 love. And I cannot stress that enough. Love this mod. It's it's truthfully incredible. For example, how do you make netherite ingots? This is how. You get netherite scrap, and then you take gold ingots, you combine them, you get a netherite ingot. Absolutely incredible. And uh, how do you get netherite scrap? You can click on that. You can say ancient debris, being blast in a blasting furnace or in a normal furnace. Doesn't matter. All that stuff, you can break it all down. And that's what's great about mods is when you have a rocket. You want to make a rocket in Galacticraft, for example. How do you even get there? Well, you can use just enough items to break it down into its individual pieces and see how to make all the parts of a rocket. See, it kind of all comes together, and that's why I like just enough items so much. If you want to know how to make glass, you can just click on it. You smelt sand, obviously, but so much stuff. It's also helpful for me when new things are added to Minecraft. I can see how to make them, right? Which is absolutely incredible, even in vanilla. So, nonetheless, thank you so, so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more incredible content every single day of the week. Truthfully, you'll be amazed by the awesome Minecraft mods that are out there, and we try to cover as many as we possibly can. My name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.